you how to use the eyedropper tool and the clone stamp tool. And this one's a really good example because I, for the most part, it's sketchy and, and fun, but I do not care for this, which is clearly a mistake. I, I was starting to draw her skirt way bigger than it should have been, and you can see it in the line drawing. So I'm going to zoom in here. And it is, again, it's a poor image, so try and have better quality image. It shouldn't be pixel, the pixelation shouldn't be that bad. Um, but, all right, we're going to duplicate the layer because anytime we start really messing with things, you're going to want to duplicate layer and just ignore that background. So if I mess something up, I can always just delete it and start back from scratch. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the eyedropper tool. Uh, the eyedropper tool is right here. Uh, the short key is I, and what I can do is I can grab a color near this area and notice it changed over here, or maybe you didn't notice because it was so small. Uh, but if I did just white, let's try just white, and I were to paintbrush this, I'm going to do, I always try and do things on different layers. So I'm starting a new layer. I'm going to grab a basic brush. There we go. Way too big. Go away. Okay. Now if I go white, just... Oops. What are you doing? Is it hundred opacity? Oh, I'm on the eraser. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. One second. There we go. Okay. So if I do just white, actually, uh, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. So there's one way to do it, but let's assume it didn't. Let's assume like if we were down here and we were coloring, the white is a little weird. Um, so I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and grab this white and it is slightly different not by much it's a, but it's a little warmer and if you have the tools why not use it so uh, I've grabbed this specific white which has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it and I'm gonna grab a brush I'm gonna make it a little smaller than what I have and I can come in and just clean it up okay um, because my hardness is so soft it blends really well with anything that isn't that color um, but I'm going to come in a little more specifically right here. Okay. So that's one way to do it, and that's really great. Uh, let's say, though, we wanted to get rid of... Um, what do we want to get rid of? Let's say we want to get rid of this line down here. Now if I do the white, it's obvious, it's very obvious. Um, and if I clone stamp it, I think it's, or uh, not clone stamp, if I use the eyedropper in here and get that color, it's still pretty obvious. And that's because one, I took a really crappy photo with my phone. So it's giving me this weird information that's really not supposed to be there, this pinky, purpley, gray goodness. Uh, so when you're dealing with a textured something like this, and let's say we want to get rid of this line, it's really a great idea to use the clone stamp tool, short key S. Uh, and to do this, you actually do need to be in your layer. So the original, for me, it's background copy. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm holding down the option key. If you're using a uh, PC, I'm so sorry, I don't know, you're going to have to press buttons, but ultimately you're looking for this little bullseye tool. So if I undo, or if I'm, I release option, it goes to the circle. If I click option, it's a bullet tool or a target tool. Uh, and what that's going to do is allow me to click and say, I want you, Photoshop, to pull information from this space. So I clicked on that, I got that information. I notice now that when I go up here, it's actually showing some of that area. So let's go back up to layer one because that's what I actually want to draw on and see that it's it's stamping it. It's allowing me, let's do it again, go here, go up here. I'm transferring this information. So here was this little line, it transferred there because I wasn't careful about avoiding that. Uh, and it's a little more specific and textured than it would have been had I not done that. Okay, so you can see it somewhere a little more obvious. I'm holding down my option. Let's say we want to duplicate her face for some reason. Here we go. And it's kind of a pain in the butt, right, to switch back and forth between your background copy layer and your layer one. But this is 
this is really the way you should do it so that you can always get rid of it or easily erase it off of this layer, right? If I want to get rid of this now, I can grab my eraser tool and just get rid of it and I won't affect that original image. Uh, now that I'm here, I can see I, I had a mistake with her hairline. This might be a great example for a clone tool. So I'm going to click on the uh, background copy layer, get my clone stamp, short key S, grab my bullet point, and then come in here and get rid of it. So that's a way for you to get rid of some messy lines in, a, in an image, either by using the eyedropper tool and grabbing the specific paintbrush color you need, or, uh, or using the clone stamp tool uh, if there's a little more texture there.